What an absolutely beautiful castle this is. I mean, I guess the more appropriate term is, I guess, a keep or a town hall in a way. It's a little bit of all three, isn't it? It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, and this army, no, they're not sieging the castle. These swordsmen, archers, and catapult, they're not sieging this castle. That is my army. Today, we are gonna be beset upon on all sides by an endless horde of the undead. Zombies, Cretans, monsters, baddies, there's all kinds of stuff out there, and we, we need to protect this castle. Because if it dies, we die. Not in real life, but like in video game life, which is, it's also sad. So what's kind of cool about this game is there's like this grid-like system, and it sort of plays a little bit like they are billions in a way. So the first thing we're going to do is build a lumber mill and build a berry picker's house. My army is moving up because I really want to scout with them. And you may be asking yourself, well, uh, why, why are you worrying about that? Like, what's going on? Well, uh, this deer isn't the only thing hiding out in these woods. Here they are, the enemies. Eventually, we're going to be expanding our kingdom outwards, and the little baddies there are going to be like... Oh, you know what? There's some dudes that we can rob and steal all of their stuff, and uh, we don't want that. So what we need to do is clear the way. But the good news is, is now we can build a stone mine. And I know what you're thinking. They call that a mine? Yes. But we are going to need a ton of things. Cemeteries eventually, because our people will die. And you see this? This is a soul crystal. This is something that we can pick up in use. But the further you go out, the bigger the groups of the enemies are. And eventually, since we do have a day and night cycle, well, eventually the bad guys attack. So they kind of look maybe more like barbarians than zombies in some cases. And they definitely use advanced weapons, but like sometimes they look really, really creepy. Now we're gonna wanna create a little bit of a town, our housing area. So we'll build three here right as night sets upon our kingdom. So now it's daytime and we got a lot of new workers. Basically, you build the houses and overnight your population can grow depending on, well, your housing situation. So why these houses look like they would fit very nicely on the side of a beautiful Grecian island. Uh, they, they're not. They're in the middle of a, <laughs> an endless siege. So one of the things we're going to want to do is get some fishermen's huts so that we can increase the number of food that we are producing every day. Fish is just kind of one of the easiest ways to do that, I think, in the early game. Now, the next thing we're going to want to do is create a barracks, and that costs a lot of wood. So, maybe a few more lumber mills are in order. So, we got our army scouting down south. Uh, everybody's alive so far. Our four starting swordsmen, four starting archers, still here. And they're just like endless brigands in these woods. Like, look at this, man. And this isn't even like the worst of it. It's a new day. Sun sets? No, sun rises. Yeah, sun rises at the beginning of the day, doesn't it? So let's get our barracks here. We're gonna put it in the south. This is gonna be the fortification area. I wanna get even more wood and then get a little bit more food too. And while we're at it, let's start working on maybe a storage over here for all of our resources. And I think this is high order that we get a builder's house now. Let's set it to the top priority and continue the scouting. And raid another camp because, I mean, that's really what we got to do. Okay. Oh, wow. Hold on. In a minute and 43 seconds, we are going to be attacked from the north. Take those resources, please, and thank you. And let's maneuver back up here. The barracks is done. Let's see. We're going to need to use manpower, food, and wood to get archers. But swordsmen are cheap. And for defenses, I'm thinking a nice wooden tower. Like maybe central. I don't know which way they're going to come. And I can't build the towers on top of the mountains, unfortunately. So if I was a betting man, they're going to attack most maybe from here. We'll see. The enemies are coming soon, my liege. Yeah, needless to say, we probably should have built the builder's house quite early. And we just didn't. So this is our first defensive tower. And one of the cool things we can do is put, well, archers up in it. And quite a few at that. So hopefully we predicted correctly where they're going to be coming from. Obviously the first wave's going to be, well, you know, a little bit weaker. And we desperately need some food production. Let's get another berry picker over here in these woods. Ooh, we left one of the uh, soul crystals, which and those are basically, they allow us to do this thing called summoning and then an astral ray, uh, which is basically like a Death Star laser. <laughs> Pretty cool. And we'll build a granary kind of over here. Yeah, I think we predicted pretty close to accurately where the enemy's gonna be attacking from. Yikes, okay, hold on. Let's do the summon right in front of them and unpause time here and basically look at that. 
we get like free warriors that are going to be joining us. Now, that does use two of our soul stones, so we kind of want to keep that, you know, for as long as possible. But not bad. All said and done. And now these guys can kind of go to the four corners and help me scout. So there we go. The city is under attack. Oh my god, the city's under attack. Biscuits and gravy. What are you doing here, man? I guess we didn't clear these woods nearly enough. So one of the things we're gonna get, let's get a nice stone mason right over there. And maybe we can kill this guy before he kills this house? Yes. So we're using the summon guys as distractions while we start to clear the town. There are a lot of enemies here. I guess one of the things we could do is summon in some warriors to help with this endeavor. And look at this. He just kind of leads them on. <laughs> I love it. The enemy can be cheese and we like a nice bit of cheese. So it sort of reminds me a little bit of like they are billions but mixed with uh, kingdoms and castles. I would say that Diplomacy is not an option, kind of fits that niche, you know? Ooh, corpses to bury. Bury the dead to avoid epidemics. Well, we, we don't like those at all. So I'm guessing we are going to need a cemetery and a gravedigger's house, but the gravedigger's house first. Where do we want to put the cemetery? Maybe like up here. And we definitely want an obelisk so that we can gain access to the super laser. Now research is something we want to get working on but it costs a lot of stone in most cases. Although there are some that cost wood. Since we're building the obelisk, all of our stone is pretty much in current use. This was a huge area to clean up. Fortunately for us, we're pretty much almost done and we're gonna get some soul stone and then even some resources. This kind of looks like what, food? Yeah, cart with food. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. All right guys, get these resources. And then eventually our little summoned guys, they disappear into like the ether or whatever it is. And we do we have our first wall here, which is this one. It blocks that area. The most narrow choke point that we had. Okay, I think we stirred up the hornet's nest. We're gonna need some more soldiers. And now we gotta wait for another day to get more people. Probably wanna build even more houses, but that uses more food, so it's like kind of like this constant struggle to maintain a balance between expanding and being able to hold on to the area that you've expanded into. So our objective today is to get to like at least day 10. And right here, the enemy squad will attack on day seven. Wave two. See, look at this, now that we've built the obelisk, we can use the astral ray, which might actually help us defeat this little base over here. But one of the things to consider is the fact that you probably want to save this stuff for defending yourself, not necessarily, you know, attacking. Oh shoot, the enemy sent in a little, a little attack wave. I wish I could make the UI sort of bigger, like the red dots, cause like I didn't even know this was happening. And we're clearly gonna need to start setting guards. So that's part of the reason why we're building these perimeter walls. Ooh, what's in the woods? Food, I think. Yes. All right, so now the enemy wave is gonna come from here in about a minute and 10 seconds. Hmm. Ooh, and we don't have enough wood for all of this. So what we need to do is definitely have at least, oh, set priority. There's like 25 things we're building. Well, I guess all of these individual wall sections, right? We need to turn the priority to this thing over here so that it gets done in time and our army doesn't get wiped out. Granary's full. Jeez. Okay, we can try to fix that. Guys, I literally set this to like top priority. You you need to you need to build this. This is not good. Well, we're gonna have to use the super laser on him, I think. It is a decent sized army, not a lot of melee troops, but we are gonna summon the melee troops that we need if this gatehouse isn't done in time. And I think one of the key things is, look at this. These guys are dragging these huge blocks all the way from here, all the way over here. We clearly need closer warehouses. This is gonna be kind of close. All right, gentlemen, as many of you can get up there, please do so. Now, first thing we need to do is summon in a delaying force. We'll do one here too. And this is the super laser. And I can do that, like, I pretty much get a drag where I want it to go, which is awesome. So I totally get to put the enemy army in disarray and just, like, clean house. Needless to say, though, that did use a decent amount of soul crystals. That is something that we are going to want to fix. You need more granaries. What do you mean I need more granaries? Oh, I I'm building another one. Got it. Okay, good. Now let's just go over here and clean this area out because we got these extra soldiers anyway. This looks like a nice choke point we could probably use. So let's see. I do want another builder's house. We're gonna get a lot of builders today. Okay, this is kind of scary. <laughs> Run, big raider camps. It's like, what happened to human society? Oh, also another very, very important thing is we're gonna need new houses because you can see that my population were 66 
out of 66. And we're pretty low on wood. We're, we're kind of low on everything. Oh, you know what? I'll just go get some wood over here. Dude, they're just like hiding in the trees. There's hundreds of them. Okay, it's kind of an ambush, isn't it? My goodness. Uh-oh. Our summonable force did leave us. So let's summon a new one. I love it though, man. Like by being able to like summon in soldiers when you need them and like super weapon lasers. Like this is just the demo and there's clearly two other abilities. And I'm really, really curious to see what they do. But honestly, it is well past time for our first upgrade. And honestly, advanced toolkits is the key that we're going to need here so that we can start accruing more and more resources in our bid to you know expand defend and i'm thinking we need to shut this area off but first let's see where i can put a stone okay right there and right there then i'll want to put my gate probably like right there and we're out of wood <laughs> let's try to clean out this camp get more soul crystals kill a few more enemies and expand really much to the edge of this area over here which might be biting off more than we can chew. You know what? That's what this thing's for. Right? Can it destroy buildings? Well, that was all of it. Oh my god, there's even more. <laughs> this is kind of nuts. Look at that. That is terribly scary. Yeah, we shouldn't have just sent them in like that. Oh my gosh. There's way too many. We'll probably have to pull out of here. I don't think, like, that is on the edge of the map, so it's supposed to be, like, you know, some of the hardest stuff you're gonna face. It's scary, needless to say. Good news, our first bit of research is done, so now people are gonna be uh, a little more efficient with their work, and then we're gonna have comfortable shoes so that we can transport stuff faster. Then we'll probably work on, like, more offensively oriented things. But I do want even more wood. Wood seems to be one of the rate-limiting resources. But the more trees you chop down, well, the more trees you chop down. You see how that works? <laughs> and we're starting to get this, like, nice and surrounded here. Alright, so we got some people attacking from the south, so I'm gonna start installing towers on our flanks. Another set of research is done. We're on day 9, almost to day 10. Our goal of surviving... Well, hopefully we'll be done soon. And they're gonna be attacking from up here, so we need to ready our defenses. We've got two minutes though before the day 10 attack comes. This is wave three. Now remember that this is like sort of like an endless wave defense. So we're pretty much just trying to hold out as long as we can. We'll raise the, uh, to the highest degree of need and we can probably afford three more archers. And you know what we should bring into the fray? Our catapult. I mean, if we have siege equipment, why not? And look at this, man. The animations for the walls being built. I love it. Oh, we don't have any more workers. Okay, we're gonna have to bring up all available manpower here, which should be easy with the catapult, a super laser, and being able to summon knights out of the ether. Now, could we get a really, really tall watchtower? I love the watchtowers. If we could get this thing done quickly, we'd be able to see them from further away. Now, we wouldn't be able to put as many archers up in it, and I really wish you could like build up on these things. I think that would be a cool mechanic, but right now they're just sort of like blocking. And as far as upgrades, we should upgrade Sharpshooter. Now there's a chance that would actually finish before the enemy even gets here. And I think it's clear that we need a warehouse right here for this stone. Eventually we're gonna be able to build stone walls. I'm not entirely sure if it's in the demo or if it's gonna be in the full release. Holy crap. Okay, Um, we have only nine soul crystals so i'm thinking what we need to do is i want to delay the enemy army we need to delay this one we're going to delay them both and then prepare the astral array and just like oh man this is actually a pretty massive army yeah that was a force multiplier for sure. Okay, we've got the watchtower done. How many people can get up there? I think only one. Hey, get inside the walls, you noobs. But <laughs> it sure looks like we held pretty well. The super laser, man. But we are totally out of crystals, so I'm not entirely sure if we're going to be in a very good position. Hold on. Wait a minute. The skull is still out there. Was that not the main wave? No, that was the main wave. Okay. I was reading the minimap wrong. Man, that had me kind of worried. We have survived 10 days in diplomacy is not an option. I mean, we tried to reach out, write precious letters to them, but they, they said, nay, we're not interested. So war is all we've got, but that's okay. It's kind of more fun in a video game anyway. So let me know if you guys do want to see more. Diplomacy is not an option. Pull the trigger on that like button if you did enjoy the video, and I will see you in the next one.